Hey, what's up, YouTube friends? Adrian here again with a really quick tutorial on how to do typography using Adobe After Effects. I'll start by explaining to you how this works. So, as you can see on my master sequence, I have a bunch of uh, pre comp pre comps, pre compositions, and I have a camera, a null object, and then my last titles at the end. Actually, we don't need this one. So, if we click on one of these pre comps, you'll see the text inside of it and I have organized it to for it to come in each word for it to come in with the audio so it's synced with the audio and then I bring it in here and once I have my words together I animate my camera so it looks something like this and it has that tap it has that typography style to it so let's get started we'll start by creating a new composition and we'll drag our audio and let's play that and the reason why it does not play is because you have to do a RAM preview for audio playback so that's over here RAM preview. so now we can hear all it kinds of musicians. so keep that in mind every, every time you want to hear your audio do a RAM preview so he starts by saying I get offered to play with all kinds of bands so we'll start by creating those titles inside our master sequence here so one way of creating a title is right clicking, new, text, and then type in the word, I. Or the shortcut for it is command option shift T, and that creates another layer of text. We'll type in here get. Get offered. Oh man, what I do? Okay, with all kinds of bands. All right, so now we have all our text in our master sequence here, and we have to align it so it comes in with the audio. So the way we can scrub our audio is by hitting Command and then scrubbing through it. So let's turn off the volume. So he says I right here. So we'll start with the I. We'll have the I come in right there. So just move this layer over here. And then he says get over here. Offered. We'll move that layer. And then the two. And the play. He says that about right here. And so on and so forth, just keep on aligning all your words so they come in when they're supposed to with the audio. Just remember to hit command when you're scrubbing through it so you can align that. So once we have them all ready to go, we'll highlight all of the layers. So we'll select this, shift, hit the top layer, and we'll create a pre-composition. Uh, pre so go to layer, pre-compose, and hit enter and we'll go inside of this layer and here it is now what we have to do is organize our text so I'll put the uh, and you can do it however you want you can get creative with it uh, so we'll put I get right there offered we'll go ahead and make that big and if you want you can change the color so we'll make that blue and we'll put that right there and just keep on organizing your text make sure you make it interesting just for the visual purpose of it and I'm just gonna do really this really fast but I'm sure you guys understand what I'm doing here and Play. We can make this bigger and we'll put it right there. And we can change the color of that to, I don't know, red. Kinds. And if you want, you can rotate this text. So later we can rotate the camera. So we go to transform. Rotation, we'll do a minus 90. Put 
kinds of right there and close everything up and then of bands so there it is now we'll go back to our master sequence and if we do a ramp preview you'll see the letters come in I get offered to play with all, all kinds of bands okay so that looks pretty bad uh, but you get the idea just make sure it looks good uh, so now we're gonna add a camera so go to layer new camera and we'll do a 50 yeah we'll do a 50 millimeter hit OK okay now it's time to make our composition three-dimensional so hit this icon right here go to view two views horizontal that way you can see your camera uh, let's zoom in over here and then we're going to add a null object so layer new null object and we'll parent the camera to the null object and we're going to control our camera with our null object so we'll go to transform and turn on all the keyframes and so let's say we want to start our camera right over here and the scale uh, have it scaled right there and then you want it to go down when it says get and then offer comes in so we'll put another keyframe right there and then we'll go over here but and we'll zoom out so add a keyframe to scale back out offered and then it goes two so where it says two we'll scale back in move our camera to play and then I think play comes in about right there so we'll scale back out and move our camera back here width is way back there so we'll scale it in and we'll go where it says width scale all kinds of bands we'll scale back out so you get the idea just keep on framing your camera and there's um, you can do this with it, however you want the, uh, you can get creative with it and do it however you want to do it and what we can do is add an easy ease to these keyframes F9 is a shortcut for that let's play that back and we'll see what we came up with there it is I know it doesn't look that good but I hope you get the idea and I hope this was helpful to you if you have any questions regarding this video or any of my other videos please feel free to email me and I'll see you guys later thanks for watching